Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good weekend and welcome back to Classified France 44. The game released on Thursday, it's available on Steam, PlayStation and Xbox and as you can see I've been plugging away at it. There are 32 days to go until D-Day and I have a bit of a problem. This guy. Major Conrad Frank, the leader of a field police unit who's been going around attacking the resistance cells that I've been setting up in the various different regions of occupied France. But he's just one of my problems. A mission just popped up, which I don't have to complete, but if I don't, there will be a second unit of field police going around dismantling the resistance organisation that I've been setting up in occupied France. So I kind of have to do it. I mean, I don't, but it's going to generate all kinds of problems if I just skip it and go with something easier. The rewards for completing this mission are pretty good though. A G43, an M1, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> and a Browning automatic rifle, uh, a light machine gun. Uh, and I don't have to choose, I get all three of them. What I do have to choose though is who I'm gonna take on this mission. So I need to rest Tom King because he's suffering from fatigue. Ollie Johnson, my Australian machine gunner, is also suffering from fatigue. I'd ideally like to take the guys who are lower level, because it looks like there's going to be a substantial amount of experience awarded for completing this mission. So we'll go with Sammy, the Moroccan Bren gunner that you saw me recruit in the last video. I think we'll go with Bilanger here, our French resistance sniper. It'd be a good idea to have a leader. So Cassidy, the American Jebra team member. And I have a couple of other options for the final spot. I think we're going to go with Anna Martineau, who's another French resistance member that I've recruited. So that's the full team. Bélanger is a sniper, uh, Sammy's a heavy gunner, and both Anna and Will Cassidy are leaders, although they have different specialisations. So that's the team. We're going in. This, by the way, is the first lethal difficulty mission that I'm going to have attempted. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> okay, I see the big shot ahead. You carry the ball, I'll deal with the tackle. I'm beginning to see why this mission's difficulty is rated as lethal. There are 12 enemies plus the boss. In order to complete all of the objectives, well, the primary objectives are kill all other enemies, 12 of them, huh? kill the boss, and then there are two secondary objectives to kill him with melee. Oh, by the way, these are Panzer Grenadiers. Yes. Yeah, the enemy difficulty scales the further into the campaign you go. These are not just your regular German army troops. The first set of upgraded enemies that you come across are German paratroopers, and they're pretty nasty, but um, this is the first time I've come across Panzer Grenadiers, mounted troopers. They're veteran soldiers with improved equipment and morale. Oh, this is going to be fun. And there are 12 of them. Well, there's only 11 of them now. Yes. In order to complete those secondary objectives and get the maximum possible amount of supplies out of this mission, I'm going to not only have to kill the boss with melee attacks, I'm also going to have to kill four enemies without being detected. I see him. So there's a couple of isolated Panzer Grenadiers in this garden, and I can kill this guy with a melee attack, but I will be detected. The tooltip quite definitely tells me that I am going to be detected, probably spotted by this guy, if I try to give the first one a damn good shanking. If I brought Vincent, my Canadian team member, he has the ability to cause a distraction by throwing a stone into the bushes, for example. And that would have probably made this a lot easier, allowing me to draw that guy further away from his friends and give me the opportunity to take him out with a stealth kill. I'm moving up into the bushes, and I think we're just going to stay there. If you're in bushes, by the way, you are 100% undetectable, providing the enemy is not aware. At the moment, nobody's been spotted, so the enemy are in the unaware state. So he's perfectly safe in the bushes. Now this guy, another Panzer Grenadier. One thing that I do appreciate about the game is that it gives you a lot of help when it comes to plotting out your moves. You're never left in any doubt whether or not moving somewhere is going to get you detected. First, as you can see, it gives you a nice big red indicator if you're planning to move to a spot that will get you detected. The other thing that it does, if you accidentally misclick, which is something that's happened to me more times than I can count in something like XCOM 2, and don't get me wrong, I love XCOM 2, but it can be a little unforgiving of mistakes. 
and when you make as many mistakes as I do, <laughs> like misclicking, for example, um, and watching one of your units go charging through a window, making all kinds of noise, and then stopping right in front of a whole bunch of enemies because you misclicked with the mouse. Um, that doesn't happen in this game. Hmm? You can still misclick. I'll move more. And the first time you do it, I guarantee you'll have your heart in your mouth watching one of your supposedly stealth masters go charging off into the middle of open ground. But what happens in this game is right at the point where they're about to be detected, it freezes the game and a dialogue box pops up asking you, are you sure you want to proceed because you are about to be detected? And it gives you the option of interrupting the move before everything goes horribly, horribly wrong. It does other things like that too. For example, when you set Overwatch and you are undetected, it doesn't automatically gun down anybody who walks into the Overwatch zone. It asks you, do you wish to activate Overwatch or just let them go and maintain stealth? So let's see what Fritz is up to. There he is. There's the boss. It's the first time we've actually laid eyes on him. There's a machine gunner at the back there, German paratrooper. And we've lost sight of one of the guys in the garden. Right, so cutting the wire is going to cause noise and may attract some attention, but I'm far enough away that I should be able to get away with it. And I have to cut the wire in order to get to the house without just casually wandering up the main road right in front of all of the sentries. Moving Sammy up, hopefully, yep, to reacquire the Panzer Grenadier Private in the garden. Now that this Panzer Grenadier Private has moved, can Cassidy take him out with a stealth kill? Yes, he can. If he moves to there. Alright. I don't see why not. Let's do it. You're mine. Chew on that one, Fritz. Okay, two of four stealth kills. The secondary objective to get four stealth kills before being detected. It's something that you probably want to aim for anyway. If you look at the top of the screen, there's a marker that says unaware uh, with a couple of coloured pips beneath it. Those coloured yellow pips indicate how many stealth kills you've had without being detected. If you manage to fill the bar up and get four, then you trigger an ambush and you basically get an entire extra turn for free. And when you're outnumbered, or when you started outnumbered, more than three to one, like this, well, that's a very, very good thing next turn. There's no timer limit on this mission by the way, which is just as well because it is not something Target you can inside. afford to rush. And I am able to take out this next Panzer Grenadier once again from stealth. And there is somebody else just up there to the north behind the outhouse. And Cassidy's just got eyes on him. This is a huge problem. The Panzer Grenadier improved sapper. Sappers throw grenades around like there's some kind of sail on. Uh, the improved sapper, his grenades inflict the disorientated state on anybody who survives the blast. He's also very resilient to explosion me? damage, cannot be not. stealth killed, and if you do kill him, he drops a grenade that explodes at his feet. Let me just show you an example from an earlier mission where I found out the hard way how to not take out a sapper. Moving out! My flag is off. Good night. Oh, enemy town. Yeah. Yep. Stabbed an enemy sapper, and when he died and exploded, he managed to injure not just one, but two members of my team. And it's not like the game doesn't warn you this. I mean, the first time you come across any new unit, it pauses and gives you a detailed description of what they can do mm -hmm. and what you cannot do to them. So that's not a mistake I'm going to make twice. But it's not a mistake I'm going to admit to making twice. Nobody saw nothing. You can't prove anything. I may have made it more than twice. <laughs> Here's my issue though. I can't get around that sapper without killing him and raising the alarm. And I can't stealth kill him because he's a sapper. And I can't get over the garden wall to give our main target a good stabbing without getting seen by that sentry outside the window who will also raise the alarm. I obviously can't just walk up the main street either, so how am I going to get that fourth stealth kill? If there's a way to do it, I couldn't figure it out, so eventually I just thought, screw it, chicks dig scars and glory lasts forever. Grenade! 
<laughs> grenade! Hand cannot! The grenade hits the target, and the blast also injures the guard standing in front of the window. And yes, the alarm has now been raised. Now that's ended Anna's turn because she took an offensive What's action. Cooking? However, Cassidy over here, because he's a leader, as well as leaving him in position to cover the road, has the ability to issue an order. So Move he's going to issue an order on Anna, which will grant her an extra six action points, allowing her to effectively have an You want me? Oh, yes. Now yes. she's on with the G43. I'm going to have her aim at the mission target, but there are a lot of other German troops in the danger zone. And I actually took out the guy around the corner. <laughs> Shot must have gone right through both of the windows. So the boss isn't down. I'm going to need to take care of the sentry by the window though before we enter the room. And somebody might want to deal uh, with At the your other German troops on the road who will be coming to investigate. So first we're going to uh, give this guy a damn good is often. This should kill him. Ah, target right. down. Super. Kill confirmed. We oui? now then. Let's get in there and give this guy a damn good shanking. Because we need to kill him. Oh crap! There's somebody else in there with him. I... Looks like you took damage from the grenade, or Sie possibly a burst with the G43, or more than likely both. Uh, the melee attack does not kill the officer, but it does break his morale, so he basically loses his next turn. That's great news. Now Cassidy, he's got a better chance of hitting the paratroop machine gunner, but the. He doesn't have a line of fire on him. Hey, 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 this Panzer Grenadier nine, nine, nine. does. And I get lucky, and I do hit him. Uh, but he is now suppressed as well. He took Enemy some morale sighted. damage. Enemy scout. Okay, this guy runs for cover. But he runs for cover behind an oil barrel. Hmm. Jeez, Cassidy's drawn a bit of fire here. But this is fine. That's what he's there for. He's there to ensure that all of these guys uh, don't get to interrupt the party that's going on inside the building. Ooh, here comes the sapper. That's going to be Mach bad news. Meanwhile... Actually, this is quite a lot of bad news because the other German soldier inside this room is a medic and he's healing the boss. So. <laughs> and himself. That's going to complicate matters. Next, here comes the machine gunner. Although he's managed to run to a position where I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a line of fire on anything. And an enemy sniper. Oh, fantastic. Right, Cassidy, I think it might be a good idea to move to a better position, like one that's not right in front Moving of everybody, out. before we take an action. We've got some cover there, and we can use a grenade to, if not Drag kill, up. then at least suppress. Ah, he's done for. The same Get kill. So that's one kill, two suppressed. Now, Friendly fire. unfortunately, Anna You're can't repeat what she did earlier and fire through the window, because there are two At team members service. in the way. I mean, she's not guaranteed to hit them, but she's not guaranteed to not hit them either, and it would cause morale damage. So I switch to Belanger. Yeah. Kill the medic before Wait. he can cause any more problems. Now then, the officer. He is... Actually, he's no longer suppressed. I know I need to kill this guy with melee weapons to satisfy one of the oh. bonus objectives. But when you mouse over a target, it will let you know exactly what your currently intended skill is going to do to them including whether or not it's going to kill them. So I knew that Just that wasn't going to kill him. Plus, this guy's an officer. And when you Quick. kill an officer, they don't die, they just go down. And then they start recovering, and you have to oh, finish them off, effectively kill them again, often. otherwise they just get back up. So that's how we're going to finish that guy off. For now, Panzer Grenadier scout. Well, that was unlucky. I thought Anna would have killed at least one of them, but she did break their morale, which means they've now lost Moving. their next turn. Still chasing that melee kill. And I don't know if this will actually count as the kill Sie by just downing him, or whether or not you finishing him off when he's down with the melee weapon is going to count. But there's only one way to find out. Meanwhile, enemy turn. Okay, he's in a bad position. Oh, this guy's... Oh, that's really bad news for Cassidy. He's been flanked. I'm oh, hit. he took some health damage, but he's very resistant to morale damage, and he is sitting right next to a med kit. Uh, I didn't just move him there because there was good cover, there's also a med kit. I'm probably going to need to get him the hell out of there. Actually, hang on a second. Can we finally put this guy down? Or we can at least, if not kill him, down him. So, he's going to get back up, up in three turns unless we finish him off. 
And that didn't count as the kill. The objective is still uncompleted. Wait. So, shank him. The monster is Done. Slain. There are still five enemies remaining, though. Come on, Anna. Right, this should be a kill. 82% chance of a hit. Yeah, she misses again. <laughs> but she has once again suppressed both of them. So, you know, it's not nothing. Right. Um, I definitely don't want Cassidy to be sitting there flanked by the Grenadier. So, where can I move him to where he can be relatively safe but also still do something? Move uh, it! Well, you can't have it all. I can move him to a position of safety, but he's not able to do fire. anything. Yet. Okay, they're returning fire on Anna. Panzer Grenadier Private. Same thing. People are in good cover though. Morale. Uh, they're not quite suppressed, but if somebody takes another pop at them, they probably will be. Here comes the sapper. Please don't throw a grenade. You didn't throw a grenade. Okay. Um, that's actually good, because his grenades disorient whoever's caught in the blast. And I need everybody. Fire! Right. Anna is now suppressed. But I can fix that because both she and Cassidy have the rally skill, which restores the morale. Gonna do it with Cassidy. Everyone, buck up! We're still in the game. God's got a plan for me. This ain't how I die. And Cassidy has the unwavering conviction oh. perk, which means that he recovers a bonus 30% morale every time he uses an active perk. Now. The medic that we kill, by the way, if you kill a medic, they drop a med kit, so that's useful to know. I've moved Belanger up to the window so he can cover the road. Now I could either do Overwatch or I could just toss a grenade. grenade. I should grenade. Ah, death to all of you. Ah. take care of two enemies. Three to go. Right, and I need to reload. Or I could just switch to a sidearm, but we're going to reload. This won't be a kill, but it will suppress, and there's an excellent chance it's going to disorientate the target. Okay. Sammy. There's a machine gunner back there. Which I don't think we can do anything about right now. But we're going to pick up the first aid kit. Thank you, Mr. Medic. And I think the best thing that we could probably do, if I want to actually do anything, is to... Moving. Yeah, move out here. Now there's good cover here for Sammy, at least from the two guys on the road. And moving in here gives me a couple of options. I could throw a grenade, or I could draw their fire. Because Sammy's a heavy, you get the option of specialising them as a tank. And that would basically act as a ranged taunt on, for example, the sapper. And oh, also anybody you. within 10 yards of him, forcing them to attack him, instead of people in more exposed positions. Now, I don't want to go stabbing the sapper because, well, it probably wouldn't kill him, and even if it did, he would drop a grenade with this speed, which would injure Cassidy. So instead, I'm going to issue the order command to Anna to give her another six My flag is off to get her into a better position and then set up some overwatch on the corner because I know these two guys are now going to attack Sammy. Unfortunately, I don't have enough action points remaining on Cassidy to do Checking anything but also set up overwatch. So, can't do anything about the sapper though, he does get a grenade out. But Sammy can take it. That machine gunner, I am... Ooh, that's not a good spot. That's ah! a really bad spot. <laughs> okay. There's just these two guys left though. So the, taking care of them shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just need to do it without getting friendly anybody fire. killed. Okay, can't shoot from there. Too much danger of friendly fire. That's going to cost me nine action points to move up to here. And the only thing I can do from here is set up Overwatch. Or, actually, you can switch to the side arm and take a hit fire shot. Which also Roger. has the benefit of having the sack of fire. Bingo. It's not quite suppressed him, but it's Anna's turn now. I need to make sure that I have enough action points left to actually do something when I get there. So... He's now I am trying, I have to reload! Which is very nice, and I need to do something about uh, Belanger here and the uh, paratrooper heavy machine gunner. I'm going to grab that med kit. I'm definitely going to grab that med kit. I'm most grateful. Give him a fighting chance. 
and let's get him into cover. On move more. Let's draw this guy out and set up some Overwatch. Although he doesn't have a particularly great arc of fire, so this might not actually achieve anything. Anyway, Sammy's turn. He has no chance of hitting that guy from here, but he can throw a grenade. Yep. Grenade! That'll do. Decon! Oh! And me to it! Super! Kill confirmed. Sammy is now fortified, which means he takes less damage from incoming fire. Augen offen halten! All we have to deal with now is the machine gunner. And he wasn't able to get a shot on anybody. So I'm gonna go Move and pick it. up this med kit. I got it! And reacquire the machine gunner through the window. Probably don't have a shot at him from here. Yeah, 11% chance of a hit. But even if it misses, it, you bastards. it's it. going to do morale damage. He is now suppressed. Oui. Right, Belanger. Now, remember, the machine gunner isn't broken. He can still act. But he is suppressed, which means he's got a reduced chance to hit. And when he does hit, he's going to do reduced damage. Oh, move more. Mm. Fight me. He suffered us. Now he's broken. So now he can't do anything on the next turn other than recover morale, which means I can afford to take my time moving everyone else up in order to support Belanger and deal with that machine gunner in the next zusammen. round. Ich kämpfe weiter. I am recovered. At your service. Go on, Charlie. I wonder if you... Well, we could stab him again, I suppose, but... Uh, oh, yeah. No, that's, that's much better. <laughs> time to leave. <laughs> yeah, that works. Mission complete. Failed that. One secondary objective. Get three stealth... Oh, four. I got three. Get four stealth kills before you're detected. I don't think it's actually possible to do it unless you've got Vincent Tremblay with you, the Canadian. The team scout who you can actually specialise in stealth takedowns. He comes with the distract skill, which would have probably made that final secondary objective possible. Anyway, we got the rewards. Another G43, an M1 Garand. And a Browning automatic rifle. Everybody is fatigued, of course. Two skill points for Cassidy, three for Charles, two for Sammy, and two for Anna. Good work. Our hit on those officers prevented them from deploying a new anti-partisan force. And more good news, completing this mission gives us access to the French forces of the interior, which can be used to interrupt the actions of field police units. We got ourselves some backup. We can now deploy free French units to tie the enemy up for a while. Thanks to completing that mission, the German field police units don't get a second anti-partisan unit, but the first one under Major Frank is still busy. And he's about to conduct a reprisal. I'm getting news that the Germans have started rolling up our networks in this region. However, I can now do something about that by sending my free French units on a task to interrupt the reprisal. But just when I was about to do that, something else happens. Informants. Now we can do nothing about this, or we can spend two days, which will advance the clock two days closer to D-Day, throwing these informants off our scent, which has exactly the same result and neutralizes Major Frank's field police unit for two days. Which means I didn't have to expend my free French token doing it, and in two days when Major Frank's unit recovers, I can expend it then to do exactly the same thing and basically for the next week keep him permanently on the wrong foot, unable to conduct any reprisals. And before we embark on our next mission, Bonjour. I got a massive I stash of supplies team. from that uh, successful operation, uh, which I can use at the various different resistance faction quartermasters to improve my gear. May have to step up my game a little, because we are doing well, but there's now only 28 days until D-Day, four weeks, and our work is far from complete. But I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. This has been Classified France 44, available now on Steam, PlayStation and Xbox. Hope you've enjoyed it. I don't think I messed things up too badly. I mean, we successfully completed the mission. That's what counts, right? Yes. <laughs> but I hope you're all having a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're enjoying the game. And if you don't already have it, there is a link in the video description where you can do just that. In the meantime, Listen very carefully, I will say this only once. Take care. <laughs>
and viva la resistance.